Just a few short weeks ago, this boat, this houseboat, looked like this. She's come a long way, she's come a long way, and I couldn't be more proud of all the progress we've made, all the steps we made along the way, uh, getting so much stuff done, getting her up to, up to uh, the standard that she needs to be, to be on the water for our duck hunting come this fall. But today, I'm gonna be working on the boat solo. The guys couldn't be here today. Uh, Zach, young Padawan, is volunteering at Walmart, and Hunter uh, has to work. He'll be here later. Um, so yeah, he'll, he'll be here later this weekend to help me out, um, on this awesome house. So boat. today it'll be a solo restoration, no experience, no experience needed, man. We just figure it out as we go, but we got to fix the railing. Let me get out here. We've had near accidents with the railing, um, and it's high on the priority. Hunter's almost fallen off. He busted off one of these early on me just going up the ladder it's not safe and especially when we get out there in hunting season we got to have a good railing fix um, part of the problem is that uh you know it's going to be hard to do because every one of these cuts there's nothing square on here they're all going to have to be custom cuts because the distance from here to there and the angle is going to be different on every one of the support beams and then the rails that go in between kind of like we have back here we're gonna have to do that restore that how it was or similar to that around the whole boat and I'll be doing it by myself. So there's the danger of myself falling off. So I'm gonna have to be careful. I need to do it right so we don't add any more cost to this ever growing bill of this $1 boat. Um, <laughs> we don't need any more cost added. So I gotta do it right on the first time, not waste any of this lumber that we already have bought. So um, yeah, and then not only that, we got some wood rot um, along the edges of the boat. We've done a great job about taking that off um, and leaving the good stuff and that's kind of where we're at we are on that i do not want to peel that onion anymore and add any more cost i want to make it how it is make it good enough functional enough to make it to waterfowl season man just look look at this awesome boat man look at this i'm just man i'm in love with this thing and i can't wait to get it done right so let's jump into it we got we got a limited time frame though because hunter's coming like i said he's expecting to do the motor i told him i'd be done with that I've been doing some other stuff, some podcasts, some Instagram uh, posts. Um, we got a, we got the marina owner out here mowing, so that'll be great. That'll be great for filming too. But we're gonna get to it. Okay, so here we are. We got some wood up here. We got the uh, skill saw and the impact. I'm um, gonna be the tools of the trade. I got a tape measure and a, a marker in my pocket as well. Um, but I gotta take, like I said, the cut from here, setting on here to here. Um, they're not square anywhere. They all have different angles. So I'm trying to figure out my best option for it. And I think something like just setting it on one and cutting the angle for the other. So I think I'll set it down on here let's just do it like this take this there we go get it flush with the bottom and then squared up right there so um, it just sits right there on the edge. So I'll take a, a marker, I'll mark that dash right there, and then, um, yeah, then I'll cut it and put it in place. What could go wrong? Do it right, don't add extra cost. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so I had it up there, it all fit. Scored it right across here. I'm gonna cut 45s on these, put a little chamfer on it, make it look nice. I thought about doing the dovetail method. I think that's what you call that, um, where you get that little step in there. Um, and that's probably like more structurally sound, but really, I mean, for what we're doing, a couple screws through the top, right down in the board right here. It's gonna do her good. So that's gonna do her good. We'll go for that. Let's check out the first one, see how it goes. So, run into problems, solo cameraman. 
she's gonna have to believe me that it's that I'm doing it. All right, there she is, free-handed a little. We <laughs> got a little rough there, but um, it's gonna work. I'm gonna try it out on the first board, and then after that, I'll, I'll number them so I can. I don't have to mess with turning the saw blade and all that, but that's kind of what I was hoping for. That 45, um, it fits right under there. Then you got the chamfer on the outside. The board says square on the bottom. I think that's gonna be an easy way to do it. So I'm gonna test this one out. If it works, everything goes together good. We'll plug and play from there. So here we go. It's less than perfect, but it is 100% functional. Less than per perfect, but functional. So I like it. We're gonna go with it. Get rolling on these. One down. Very sturdy in there. One down. Bunch more to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we find out what happens when you don't put the saw back to zero. I thought I had it all the way back, but oh boy, let's hope for there's a shorter one somewhere along the way. Oh, oh there she is. One side down, and it's looking pretty sharp so we'll need the railing on the outside of that side number two we got the first one in and well i thought we had more screws here than we did left over but i'm gonna have to go get some more of these it's not a it's not a project without having to run to the hardware store midway through unfortunately we're back interior premier interior wood screws Mm. did not read the interior part but i'm not going back let's just cross that out interior wait wrong word to cross out premier wood screws it's under an overhang right i mean doesn't that look good it just looks so much better having the support beams for the railing and the roof on there now so I'm excited. Let's keep on cranking. So before I get back to the cutting though, man, I just want to take a second and think, you know, it's just kind of reflecting on the whole project. And so this is the first day that I'm by myself on the boat. And I don't know, man, it's just, it's like, how did this happen? You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm like, how did I, like, if I think about myself, like, <laughs> you know, um, X amount of years ago, and it's just kind of mind boggling to, to realize like this is my boat and this is my project and this is something that we're going to do this year we're going to go hunt ducks on i'm gonna have to walk the wind's blowing but we're going to go hunt ducks on the mississippi in this boat in this huge project this huge undertaking and just it's not lost on me like the uniqueness and the <sighs> epicness of this whole experience and I don't know. There's some other things that have been going on in my life here lately, too, that will come to light as well, too. This just, man, this whole thing has been crazy. So um, I do want to mention, too, it's a good, this is a good segue into this, that I'm bringing back the, back the hunt giveaway. So I get to share this epic adventure with one of you guys. You get to come on this boat, come on the hunt trip with us for a weekend or a few days or whatever we decide on uh, for that. But to enter the giveaway the hunt giveaway like we've done the last couple years um you got to go to patreon.com slash duck and chronicles um yeah i'm super excited guys to have one of you come hunt on the timber queen the mississippi river and shoot some ducks let's get back to work
They're going up, they're going up, but that's what we call getting the cart in front of a horse. It's all attached, but, well, no chamfer on that one. So we'll have to take her down and keep on trucking. There we go, there we go. Got all the support beams in. There's something about visual projects in the completion that even though they don't mean more because they take the same amount of time as like the non-visual ones, it's just something about it, man. It looks awesome. Let me, let's just, let's just do a right. walk through real quick. Here is the railings right on this side and, or the support beams, the railings would go there. I was getting confused for a second. I guess there was one here. Over there, we patched it, so I didn't realize it. Now I gotta decide if I wanna do one there. Uh, I don't know, probably not, but this should be fine. Okay, so we got this way. Floors all replaced and sealed. We got the beams up, man, everything sanded, ready for paint. Things are gonna change quick in the next few weekends up here again. And then over here, oh man, spectacular. Just looks great, man. Looks freaking awesome. I can't wait to get this fresh paint job on here too. So, yep, there it is. Next railings all the way across, just like these in the back, but all the way back around, except for our gap here to get on in and off the boat. All right, first railing's going up, first railing's going up. If I had to describe in a few words what level of precision I'm going for, I'm going for like duck blind engineering precision. I mean, not super accurate eyeballing it i'm not using a straight edge i'm looking straight up down put the marks on it and then calling her good so the railing on an old boat i want it to look good but i don't need it to be like nasa certified so there it is come together i think it looks great <clears throat> well, there she be, folks. There she be. Looking swell. I don't say so myself. I might be biased. I'm, it's my boat, so I might be biased. But she is looking mighty fine. Safety first. <laughs> the railings are good to go, Chief. Now the only one that can fall off is you, I guess. Let's take a look at the other side, too. Oh yeah, but uh, I mean that was a that was definitely a challenge doing it by myself, being able to hold the boards and screw them in and reach around the, the post and cut and wow well, yeah everything. So my arms are absolutely freaking toast. But I beat the time constraint. I I got it all done way before I was here. So uh, I shouldn't say way. I think he's probably an hour twenty out or so. So. I'm gonna keep on turning. I got what I got up next on the list is to be able to get rid of this table here, get that folding table out of here, and we will build a table out of plywood and two by fours for this area and for the range, the stove there, um, and whatever else we use there. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna knock that one out, hopefully real quick before it gets here, and then we can continue on. Got 
everything cut. I got the boards cut. Um, got the legs upstairs. I'm gonna take it. I got cross members, four cross members, four long pieces. It's all cut to the size. I measured it up there. I'm gonna build this. Then I'm gonna take it, set it on top of the plywood, trace it out, cut out the plywood, then tack the plywood to the table. You following? Oh, if, if you're not following, just just come on. Let's let's do it. All right, all the pieces here. Got the top of the table, the frame, and then the legs. So now all we gotta do is put it together. Hunter just told me he's like five minutes out. So let's get this done. Hopefully we can get it done just in time to beat him um, getting here. Just in time, hunters outside, table's done. <laughs> a couple things checked off the list today. Woo, it's hot and sweaty. I'm supposed to say hi to Hunter. There he is. What up? What up? All right, let's take the first look. What do you think, man? Oh, looks good. Oh, yeah. If I fall against it, will it break? No. Yeah, you can football tackle them and it's going to break your shoulder before it'll break the boards. That's a bold statement. You know who's going to be on this boat? Zach. <laughs> <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> what up? What up, man? You like it? You like it? Yeah. It looks good. Oh, yeah. It looks good. It's sturdy. Does the job. You know, there's, no, there's another side, too. Uh, there is. What? <laughs> there is? There's two sides. <laughs> It looks good. I like it. I do too. How's the inside look? I, I just sleep last night. That stuff's like a like oh, minus cheap. Dude. <laughs> it's a little. Right, we'll have to put some. I have to yeah. put some cross members on the legs. I think. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I measured. I measured it to go to the top of this. Yeah. Oh, we'll just get rid of that thing. Who needs the cover? Oh, actually, here. This is the better. Oh, yeah, there we go. It fits underneath. Just take a seat, man. Take, a, take seat. a seat. And you're uh, running off the road. <laughs> <laughs> They're still pretty nice. Oh, yeah. It sure beats the skinny couch or whatever you want to call that thing. Yeah. I can't wait to beat you at chess. I mean, isn't it perfect, right? <laughs> it's going to be perfect.